I am literally crying right now for laughing. This is so freaking funny. <laughs> oh boy, I haven't cried from laughter in a long time. <laughs> what is going on there, citizen? My God, my hair is still so wet. It is wet hair today. <laughs> what is going on there? I could have just waited like another 15, 20 minutes, but uh, we'll go with the wet piece. I was just in the mood for a comedy, you know, uh, and I was just like, like, what's on my list that is a comedy? And this one stood out to me. I remember the trailer sort of, and I remember being like, ah, it looks funny. And I just never watched it. So I was like, all right, yeah, let's, let's do this one. I hear it's kind of an underrated film. 17, again, make sure to wear my friend shirt. Because it's Sir Matthew Perry. Yeah, go ahead, leave a like. I would really appreciate that. Also, subscribe and click the notification bell because we got other movie reactions that we've been doing for the channel. Full length reaction watch alongs. I'm acting like this is the first time I've ever said this information, but you might be new. Full length reaction watch alongs where you sync up with your own copy of 17 again. I'm going to watch this on Netflix, actually. Uh, available for our super sexy rejects at our Patreon page. And over there, we cover a bunch of shows exclusively with reaction highlights and watch alongs included. But you could also find the rest of the watch alongs over there. Let's see what all the hype is about. Class of 84. Oh my god. Zach Efron's so much more buff now when he was already in shape. Really good shape. He looks so skinny compared to today. <laughs> I'm just warming up, coach. Just talk to the scout again. He's coming tonight. He's prepared to offer you a full scholarship. Jim Gaffigan is so funny. I'm glad you're here, Scar. This whole scout thing is me wicked nervous. I just I feel like my whole future is right in this game. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm how you feel. Oh my god, is she pregnant? Oh no. This is so much heavier already than I expected. She is preggers. Wow. Mike, what are you doing? You and me, we're in this together. Oh, this is so sweet. Babe, that's your future. No, you the have baby's my future. That's crazy, no, Mike. No, I can't let you throw this all away. I won't let you throw it away. No one told me this is gonna be so touching. <laughs> it's only like two minutes in. <laughs> hey, I'm a sucker for that kind of shit, man. <laughs> that's really sweet. <laughs> You know, not that Matthew Perry is a bad looking guy, because he's not. But to go from Zach Efron into Matthew Perry? <laughs> You're looking at Scarlett kicking you out of the house and the kids wanting nothing to do with you as a negative. When in fact, <laughs> I guess it's mostly negative, isn't it? Really? Yeah. I have no... <laughs> You're getting that big promotion today, right? Yes. Yes, I am. Today, everything turns around for me. See? Knock him dead. That Thor in the background? I feel like this movie was a good choice. The way corporate wants us to spin it is that maybe in certain situations, a four hour erection isn't such a terrible thing. <laughs> so congratulations, Mike. Yeah, Mike, if you could just slide to your left so I can congratulate our new RSM Wendy. <laughs> if you just slide to your left. <laughs> Mike O'Donnell, sooner or later you all come back to the old school. Stand there, look at the picture of the glory days, wonder what might have been. Hmm. Well, of course I want to live in the past. It was better there. I'll bet you wish you had it to do all over again. Is he going to grant this wish? Basketball season's coming up. You ready? Yeah. Remember, it's not how big you are. It's how big you play. Right up here. Is that the theme of the movie? I 
kid actor's like Sterling something or another, isn't he? That's good stuff. Why are you destroying our yard? It's not our yard, it's my yard. I'm gonna turn it into a showpiece for my clients. Clients of what? Landscape design. The way I remember that is that you spent about an hour working on it, and then you spent the next two days complaining about if you had gone to college, then you could have hired someone else to do it. Oh, man. Look, try to see things from my point of view. I am extremely disappointed with my life. I never asked <laughs> you to marry me. Yeah, but I did. You don't have to do me any more favors then. Oh, she's great at playing people in troubling relationships. Oh, Mike, you're going to learn to appreciate the present towards the end of the movie. <laughs> It is raining so hard. Hello? 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 Whoa. What the? Oh, <laughs> oh cool. Such a nerd. <laughs> no, 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 you have an unascended testicle. Googleable! This is not a bad uh, impromptu lightsaber fight they're having. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Ah! No, 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 We're looking at your basic spirit guide transformation magic. The hero uh, is transformed by his spirit guide to set him on a new path. Which is what? What do I look like? Your spirit guide? You know what to do. Abandon your family. Go back to high school. I'm going back to high school, man. Ned, this is my chance. This is my chance to have my life over. But to do it right. It's much bigger than that. It's about you. <laughs> yeah. What is this you're wearing? This is cool. This is hip. And the picture of Kevin Federline wearing the exact same thing. <laughs> hey, watch where you're going, tool bag. Stan. He's going to be an important character. I'm Jane Masterson, principal here at Hayden High. Hi. She looks very familiar. She's not from the office, is she? I think our hands just made a baby. <laughs> Excuse my dad. He's not used to talking to attractive women. Well, thank you for that uh, flattering yet totally inappropriate comment. <laughs> it's bad to say. I'm single. And I'm very rich. Okay. Did you bring your transcripts? Oh, yeah. I think Hayden would be lucky to have you. Welcome. Thank you. Your hair is pretty. Thank you. Would the lady mind if I smelled it? Oh, my God. I don't date my students' parents. Okay, well, maybe I should tell you that I never don't not date the principal of my child. <laughs> well, the least I can do is make sure that my fake son doesn't look, look like a total douche. I don't look like a douche. What a douche. He's heard his good background say it. I know you think that it ain't too far. I would not drive that kind of car to high school. Where the hell are you? <laughs> Do you take any of this seriously? I'm a lot closer to them than you think. Let's reschedule. I hope she's not attracted to him. It goes left, and the signature move. Get. 
Oh my god, he's still here. We're looking for a point guard. Oh yeah? Why don't you come to tryouts? Okay. All right, I'm done talking. Yeah, yeah. You're still gonna turn into Matthew Perry in a few years. I need you to get in trouble. Well, just enough trouble so that the principal needs to meet with your father. Yeah, okay, well, we'll see. Uh, can I get a little help in here? Alex? Oh, he's bullied. Uh, you're Uncle Ned's kid. I just started here. Just, just rip. Just, I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah, just go for it. <laughs> I guess to really bond with him. <laughs> No, no, she's the, uh, she's the head cheerleader. No, she'd never go out with me. When I first met your mother, I was so nervous. You met my mother? What? You... My mother. Yeah. You just said the, the first time I met your mother, I was so I did? nervous. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Is your mom hot? Dude, what? <laughs> I yesterday shoved me in a washing machine in my own house. What was that jerk doing at your house? Mag it's Maggie's boyfriend. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. This just keeps getting worse and worse. I'm very disappointed in your sister. <laughs> if I wanted you in the cafeteria, I would have taped you to a lunch lady. You don't talk to him that way. <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh my God, I'm so invested in this right now. I'm gonna call your father. <laughs> Nicely done. Sigourney Weaver, Alien Resurrection. It'd be way too easy to say Stan praise in the week simply because he's a <laughs> See, according to leading psychiatrists, Stan's a bully for one of three reasons. One. Oh my god, he's so cool with that ball. Stan's brain is underdeveloped. <laughs> Therefore, Stan is unable to use self-control. And the third reason, Stan has a small wiener. Oh shit. That would hurt today in the 30s age group. Way to show him up. What did you learn at school today? That I'm a bad dad. What are you talking about? I thought it was going great. It was going fantastic for me. And then, and, and then what? That is a really disgusting sandwich, man. But I think I was wrong about my spirit path. It's not about basketball. It's about helping Alex and Maggie. There we go. What was that? Three-pointer. Oh my God, he's actually good at basketball. What's he do with a little pressure? You're your father's son. I'm gonna get you on the team. That's it. That'll that'll solve everything. No. Well, what really matters is that you're there for your children, man. Mike who? Yeah, exactly. Mike, I've never heard of the guy. Ow. Hey mom, this is Mark. Uncle Ned's bastard. <laughs> wow. You look just like my husband. Scarlett, I'm going to come. Weird. Did you, you see that? I did, I did. You're going to go to jail, lady. I mean, I know that you need to grieve a relationship. It's only natural. Okay. You wait here. I'm going to go smell him. No, no, no. <laughs> you need to hook up with someone new. Oh, no. Ow, you look heard His mother who is still married by the way is planning on running around with every guy she can get her hands on if this were afghanistan she'd be dragged through the streets by goats with her hands cut off i'm just saying naomi naomi i don't care uh, uh, they're the same person be continuing our discussion on human sexuality and as we discuss the official school policy is abstinence now that is very sensible. I'm glad that someone here has their head screwed on straight. <laughs> the official school position is that we prepare you for safe sex now. So please take one and pass it down. Are you serious? Did they do that? 
It's called making love, isn't it? I, I, maybe I'm old fashioned, but I, I think that means that you do it with someone you love. <clears throat> and preferably when you're married. <laughs> Turn it into a baby. Because that's what love is. It's, it's that first moment when you hold your baby girl and you didn't know that anything could be so small. Oh no, is he gonna cry? Delicate and, and you feel that tiny heartbeat and you know that you couldn't love anything more in the whole world. Is she attracted to him? <laughs> well, I'm so worried about what's gonna happen. <laughs> this is like a reverse situation of big and back to the future. I don't even want these, just take them. More for me. I got enough for the whole weekend. <laughs> God, dude. Hey, you can go to the principal's office now. Mm. Are you peacocking? You think that's gonna work? I think it's just mine. I think it's gonna work. Oh, wow. Yeah. Obviously, I still have a lot to do. She's doing a phenomenal job to put a pond in over here and a flagstone patio there with sod in between. Then to have twinkling lights above the whole thing so that every night is a starry one. It's gonna be amazing, Scar. Scar, Scar, don't call her Scar. I realize that whole lady cougar hunting, the mothers I'd like to, you know, whatever. It's called MILF. Thinking more along the lines of Business experience, college application. But if you want to go there, that's. Okay, so I'll just get you a shovel then? Yeah. Okay. Time to seduce. Make things a real, real unclear area where we are in the age of appropriateness. <laughs> oh my god, he's even rekindling his love. Wow, that's hyper-aggressive. But she is an unusually hot principal. What happened at the tryouts? It, it was good. Mark Mark had a great tryout. He, he played great, and so did I. I made the team. Really? Oh, great. <laughs> that's so good. I'm so proud of you. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, really oh, Mark, that's super inappropriate. Nice. <laughs> Zach Efron is so funny. <laughs> it's not fair. Yeah, you look like him and you're that funny. It's not fair. What do you think? <laughs> it's amazing. When people see this, when people see how talented you are, you could be designing gardens all over the city. I have a date tonight. You have a... I have to go. You have a date? It's ridiculous because I'm a terrible dancer. So I'm you're an amazing dancer. What? Stop talking. <clears throat> you just look like you can move. Um. Okay. <laughs> What are you looking at? That was great. That was a very hot dance when you were one. Teach it to me. I can't. Try me. No, this is so bad. This is so confusing. <laughs> what does it say about her if she hooks up with him? <laughs> you stand here. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, like that. Great. I'll stand here. No. <laughs> You're picking that up pretty quickly. You mentioned your husband. Mm hmm Do you think you guys are ever going to get back together? Um, no. Why are you so sure? Maybe there's something he could do to fix things. <laughs> Mom? Yeah. <laughs> She's nervous. It's creepy, right? A little bit. She's so old. It's like. <laughs> give this to Ned, okay? To give to Mike. It's our divorce papers. And remind him that he needs to be there on the 27th. Okay? Thank you. No, you gotta win her back. Or be 17 and sleep around high school. 
which would then be creepy in context because you're not actually a 17 year old. I used to date the most beautiful girl in school and I let her slip through my fingers. But I'm not gonna let that happen to you. You're right, you're absolutely right. I'm just gonna walk up to her and introduce myself. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow at school. <laughs> that is the way the mentality goes, right? Maggie's not here, but um, I am. And I'm really, really glad you came. It's my birthday. I didn't get you a present, I'm sorry. I'll just have to unwrap you. Hey, hey, hey. I was kicked off the cheerleading squad for being too flexible. Okay, okay, sit down. Just sit down. <laughs> if don't respect yourselves, then how do you expect anyone else to respect you? Right? Oh, don't respect me. No, don't respect me. <laughs> you don't even have to remember my name. Oh my god. <laughs> I just I just I just want to tell you that you look like my dog. What did you just say? She's a sweetheart. Let's see. She died. So I look like your dead dog. <laughs> Really. People here. <laughs> Alex? Yeah, oh my god, you know my name. You're on fire. Really? Literally. How'd this happen? Literally on fire. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna get out of here. Later. Just get in here. Wow. Don't let anyone record you. Stan got on the management track at Home Depot. Oh, great. And I'm going to Westwood Community College to be closer to him. He's my forever. He's gonna cheat on you in this movie. You think I'm gonna let you mortgage your future? You think I'm gonna let you throw away all your hard work? I forbid you to see him anymore. Oh, okay. Who the hell do you think you are, my father? Hey, how'd it go? Fantastic. <laughs> you are botching this. Stan, what are you doing? Let's go. Go, Alex! Woo! Oh no. Oh no, he's falling apart. He's getting too mad. This is actually really well done, man. <laughs> Damn, he's so good. So happy for him. We did it. Oh, oh, I... oh my God, she's hugging him. Oh my God, it's working. I'll buy every student a laptop. You would deny the children of laptops, Miss Masterson, the okay. children. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, that's awful. But this is not a date. No, in no way a date. And if I do this, you will stop the inappropriate behavior and gifts. And we're just gonna drive to this restaurant. We're not gonna fly there in the space shuttle. Or... <laughs> I don't want this movie to end. Get you another chance. How? How are you gonna do that? Victory party in my house! Smart call. Stan dumped me. What did he do? He took me behind the quad, and, oh and we... God. I can't hear this. You didn't. No. That's why. That's why you dumped me. Yeah. When you're young, everything feels like the end of the world. It's not. Babe. It's just the beginning. Aww. One day, you're gonna meet a boy who treats you the way that you deserve to be treated. Do not turn your attention to him. <laughs> you really think so? I know so. I don't know what's gonna happen right now. <laughs> Sweetest. Thank okay. you. I was looking for you. I wanted to invite you to my party. I don't know if you want to come tonight. Yes. Maybe? Yeah. I would love to. Yes. Yay. Yay. Thank you. That's very exciting. Thank you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, this is bad. Let's reverse back to the future. <laughs> <sighs> so embarrassing. Just trying to impress you, okay? 
I'm the kind of guy who spends 10 grand on Gandalf the Grey's quarterstaff from the Two Towers. Yes, that does make you a dork. Especially since Gandalf the Grey was only in fellowship. <laughs> he returns in Two Towers as Gandalf the White. Oh, no. You were a man, my dear. I am literally crying right now for what? This is so freaking funny. <laughs> oh boy, I haven't cried from laughter in a long time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You can have the nun. She hadn't put out anyway. You know, on second thought. He does not know how to throw a punch. Oh my God, is he gonna wake up older? I was 17. I was back in high school. Totally back to the future. <laughs> I know why you didn't want me to be with Stan. It's because you wanted me. <laughs> oh. no, 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 no. I'm a hungry lioness, and you're a baby gazelle. Maggie, 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 no, 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 Maggie. Maggie, I'm not the person. I'm not the person. Just say you're gay, man. What are you, what are you saying? Are, are you confused? I'm very confused, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm in love, Maggie. I'm, I'm in love. You tell your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. She better keep a close eye on you. Mm. Wow. Okay, blas glas. Mm. Inwa, look at the inor. Ma, do for shiogish. The brush for long. Ma, lis ubal. Oh my God, it's happening. Hi. What are you? Have you seen Alex? Uh, He's not picking up his phone, and it's past his curfew. Alex is fine. By the end of the night, Alex could have a go. And she's great. She's cute. She acts. Come on, I'll show you. Where? Just walk up the stairs. Just walk up. One second. Uh... Everybody, out! This party is over. Oh, he's gonna have his kids. Mom, this has been a really tough time, and and you really feel like part of the family. Oh no. No, don't. <gasps> uh, no, 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 if you just listen to me, I am the father of your children. Scar, let me explain. Don't, don't call me that. You are a weirdo little man child. <laughs> hey, explain this. You are a pervert. <gasps> no, no, it's all falling apart. All is lost. <laughs> oh, I'm sure now you can see why I don't date my students' parents. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, Mike, Mark, you have done effed up. I had no idea that it was going to get so out hey, of control. Buddy. Okay, now I'm sorry. I guess I deserve that. <laughs> Second one was on cold for I'm sorry. You okay? I'm really sorry, man. <laughs> that looks painful. You know, maybe they don't need me anymore, but I need them. And not to be a buzzkill, but um, you're due in court in 22 minutes. I have to stop this. To the netmobile. <laughs> to the netmobile. <laughs> I've got a letter here. I've got a letter from Mike O'Donnell. He's the husband in this case. No, I'm sorry, Mike, but we're in the middle Your of... Your Honor, if it's okay, I'd like to hear the letter, please. It's smart that they made her recognize him to look like her husband. I want to remind you of September 7th, 1988. You were wearing a Guns N' Roses t-shirt. I remember thinking that I had to have you or I'd die. Then you whispered that you loved me at the homecoming dance. And I blamed you for my failures. And I know that you think you have to do this today. But I don't want you to. Damn, Zach Efron is so good in this movie. 
if I love you. I should let you move on. No. Kiss that 17-year-old boy. You know he was telling the truth. You know it. She knows it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is so sweet. Shit. Oh, boy. That's an emotional thing to do. <laughs> that's clever. <laughs> oh. This movie. He is really good at basketball. Got a little inside info for you. The scout from Ohio State is back. Oh my God. We're playing college ball next year, huh? That's the plan, coach. Gather up, Jack Straps. Picture time. This guy was in this exact position 20 years ago. I understand, but I have told you before that I am the principal. Yes. And yes. I can be seen with my students' parents. How can you be seen with me when I'm wearing a cloak of invisibility. <laughs> so, so silly. You can plunder my dungeon anytime. I'll bring my longbow. <laughs> this movie is so touching. I've really been trying not to cry. <laughs> this is so, this is so moving. Well, of course, I want to live in the past. I bet you wish you had it to do all over. <laughs> it's a classic transformation story. Spirit guide. You and me. Make the same choice again. <laughs> it's your turn now. love it if he were to do it all over again he would this is the best movie i've seen all year <laughs> he's matthew perry you didn't have to come after me again yes i did because i love you you're the best decision i ever made i just forgot uh. look I, I know that i've been in a bad mood for the last 20 years I thought I wanted a second chance at life, but now I know I just want a second chance with you. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. I missed you. Does he realize he's turned back? <laughs> oh, this was a touching ass film. This was a lot easier before. Yeah, you did have that six pack thing going. Any chance I'm gonna see that again? <laughs> you were checking me out. Oh, I want Taco Bell. I just packed up all my stuff and I wanted to give you a key back and say thanks. It was, hey, whoa, no, no. Wasn't expecting to see you there, Principal Masterson. You look very pretty. Health issues. So I guess I'll be seeing you at work, boss. Oh, yes, uh, Coach O'Donnell, and um, we are very happy to. Oh, I was thinking over the coach's job. Yeah. A little something for your first day at your new job. Don't think about how much it costs. It's, it's, hey, got me a whistle. Don't blow it. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Love you. Love you. I said it back. Best movie of the year. <laughs> for whenever the hell this came out. 2009. Ah, I love the hell out of that film. That was, that was so good. That was so good. Jesus Christ. So blown away right now. I, 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 I got moved to tears out of turning down the prejudice TV. I got moved to tears 
from just how touching and sweet it was. Then I got, I, I, I don't remember the last time, was, I mean, in real, I don't remember the last time in real life. I don't remember the last time on with a camera pointed at me that I, I cried out of laughter. That that shit was so funny. <laughs> like, it, it was just so good. Freaking Zac Efron. You know, I, I don't think I ever saw an actual Zac Efron movie until Neighbors. You know, like, I had that kind of... I remember watching uh, The Dark Knight when it came out. And in the theater... Like, here was my association with Zac Efron. He was like, he was that kid from High School Musical, and I've never to this day seen High School Musical. And so, when The Dark Knight was playing, they played a trailer for the theatrically released High School Musical 3. And everyone in the theater, like, I didn't boo because I didn't, I don't know, I had no investment in the hatred for it or whatever, but everyone just started booing. And so that was my association with what to think of Zac Efron at like 18 years old. <laughs> yeah, that's he's that kid. He's that kid. So I think that's partly why I didn't see this movie because I just kind of had that. Like it's probably just some like kids movie or some shit. And so the first movie I ever saw of him was um, uh, Neighbors, and I thought he was hysterical in that film. And it did have that feeling of man, he's one of those like athletic ass, like a Chris Hemsworth, like you're you're so charming and athletic, and you're also funny, like he's just the whole package, son of a bitch. It's like leave some for the rest of us, <laughs> but it didn't hear. And watching him at uh, uh, even before then, you know, when he's still playing like you know real kids, like high schoolers, I thought he was excellent. He 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 hit just that right pitch, perfect note. And, you know, like, I, I love that you, you do get to see his display of, like, athleticism, especially with the basketball. It's right in that high school musical trailer they were playing. Is basketball a big part of that movie? <laughs> I've, I've never seen any of it, so I don't know. So he strikes me as the kind of guy who would just be naturally great at basketball. I mean, shows in this movie. But he, it struck that right pitch of being that he did everything. Like, him and Matthew Perry actually complimented each other so well. It felt like a full-on character. Like, he wasn't just playing the comedy, if that makes sense. He was actually being the character. He was being the older Mike. Like, he, like, he had to play someone in the high school age. I know he probably wasn't in high school. People usually play older to younger. People are usually older and they play younger. And he had to play, like, the actual adult version of Mike internally who wants to be young. And I thought it might have been one of those movies going in where it's just about reliving the glory days and just recapturing that magic of what it was like to be popular in high school again, and then eventually go down the, the predictable path of appreciating what you actually have. But it took such a different direction than what I was expecting. Like, it, it full-on became, you know, reverse back to the future, where instead of Marty McFly helping out, you know, his, his dad and then the mom falling in love with him, like the, the opposite turn of, it's like the daughter's falling <laughs> falling for him. And, and you, you know, you've seen the movie. So <laughs> as it was going, I was so surprised by the different path it was taking. And I love how they kept the fact that he was an adult. Like he wasn't hooking up with anyone. He wasn't, he didn't, he didn't even seem tempted to. And those fatherly qualities, like the Mike O'Donnell adult father, the Matthew Perry within him, would would come out in conversation, but it wasn't like a beat-to-death kind of joke. It, it wasn't like a one-note joke they kept doing. It felt very human. He felt like a, a real person, as opposed to Zac Efron just doing the comedy bits of there's an older man inside of me, and, like, and that's what I'm really playing. He... He played like the confidence, the dumbfounded part, the fatherly quality. Like he he did it. It was so natural and believable, and felt lived in. And that's such a big part of what made the comedy sing so strongly. Like even his relationship with uh, what's his name, Thomas Lennon. I should I pull up the IMDb in case I forgot a name for a situation like this? Yeah, Thomas Lennon. Yeah, hilarious actor by the way, Thomas Lennon. Uh. Like, even that relationship between him and Thomas Lennon, like, you see Matthew Perry and him in the beginning, and you're like, yeah, they're the same age, and okay, it makes sense. And then it didn't feel like a younger guy interacting with an older actor. You could still feel that friendship and camaraderie. Like, they even had great chemistry together in the Zac Efron form. And Thomas Lennon's net gold, like, while I think Thomas Lennon is a hilarious guy, he's he is a hilarious guy and has a lot of versatility. 
at first his character I thought was uh, he might be a little bit annoying. Like he's not that funny, and it, this this nerd thing is is a little. Uh, it, 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 it just seems like sketch writing, right? But as even as that went along, it became like that was my breaking point when him and the principal are speaking elfish to each other <laughs> because it was already like so funny, and then it just got so heightened in that moment, and it's such a such a great way of doing that, as opposed to just discovering that they're both nerds. The, the reveal of that was h- hilariously done. It, it, I admire the cleverness of how they captured it, and and uh, and even his character. I was so endeared and so connected to to his character and their friendship. And then even by the end, when he says "love you," and then Matthew Perry finally actually says it back, you're like, "Ah, yeah, this is great. This is hilarious. This is so it's so sweet." And they the the connections all around because it's a family. It, it's it is kind of like Back to the Future. It's weirdly a family movie at the end of the day. You know, like the friendship that he forms with his son, Alex, and helping him out through the basketball. I, I do like that Alex did get a chance. Like, by the time he actually made the battle, it's like, oh, my God, I'm cheering for this guy. I'm really rooting for Alex, too. I think they, they did all the beats. They landed at, I think that's what would impress me the most about this comedy. They landed at all the beats you'd expect them to land at. But, you know, you've always heard that phrase, right, of it's not about the ending. It's about the destination. It's about the journey. And I think that's what this movie excelled at was, yeah, the destination of all these things is where you, like, from the beginning of this movie, where you'd sort of expect it to land. But the way they got there was done in ways that were unexpected to me and ways that kind of, you know, had moments where I was kind of on edge is when they are doing the the daughters, uh, you know, when, uh, oh, my God, hold on. There's a reason I got IMDb up here. I'm so bad at remembering names. Uh, teen Scarlet. No, 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 no. Scarlet Teen is younger Scarlet. What the hell is it? Maggie. Uh, when you have Maggie and, and, and uh, Mark and the sexual tension happening on her end, man, that was just putting me over the edge. And then even... It, it, and I liked I liked how they had fun. Like sometimes they it, the 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 phrase that comes to mind is like that feels like sometimes they're playing with fire, because even when Leslie Mann is you know clearly drawn to to Zac Efron in this film, it creates that interesting play with the audience of okay we know what's going on, but from from the observational standpoint, like this could be like a really hicky situation because she doesn't know that he's really like maybe something inside, but she doesn't really know. And and she doesn't know that that's really her husband. She thinks it's a 17 year old kid. So she starts hooking up with it. Like that could be a really like icky thing. And, but you also like kind of want them to have that chemistry because you know the reality of the situation and you know what what Mark is aiming for in this moment or or Mike is aiming for uh, to win her back. Man, Zach Efron is so good in this film. He is so goddamn good. You know what you you know what they're aiming for. So playing with that fire, I thought made for a really fun dynamic. Like Leslie Mann's always great. You know, Judd Apatow's wife. She's more than just Judd Apatow's wife. She's a wonderful comedic actress. She's a wonderful actress. And uh, I, I thought, like, her and Zac Efron's chemistry, everyone's chemistry in this film was was just high praise. I got to confirm the principal. Because wasn't she the, uh, like the, the one who was, like, the boss of Michael Scott in the office? Jan was her name. Jan, not Jane. Jan, Jan yes, that was her. It took me, it took me a second to recognize. Uh, she was hilarious. She she didn't really make me laugh. And like, she was a good thing for Michael Scott to play off of. But I didn't really consider her funny in that show. But she was really funny here. She had some really funny stuff. And I like the acknowledgement of like, because you know, I I kept wondering like, how far to the line would they push some of some of the things they're gonna do in this film? You know, would it go like super edgy and uncomfortable? <laughs> because they always teeter on the, on the on the right line. They knew to teeter on the right line, but never cross it. Never have like Zac Efron hooking up with anyone. And they use that to their advantage, like at the bowling alley when they all are uh, coming on to Zac Efron so strong, and he sits them down and talk to them about respecting themselves. <laughs> I thought it was so good. 
good. They managed to bring like surprising tension out of moments you wouldn't expect. It was more than just because you know I, I I expected a laugh. I, I I think what I was sort of my my cynical mind before going in was just expecting you know certain hijinks. I guess like every scene is going to be what's the next comedy setup of this scene, and we're going to go do that scene. The, and obviously setting up like not necessarily a sketch, but a certain kind of bit we're going to do. And they did so much more than that. They actually did real scene work and they did real character development for all the characters all around. You know, you did have Maggie grown to her own and, and to have the, the path for her at the end be like, yeah, we'll see what the future holds. And then obviously Alex's growth for allowing him to be a basketball player and you know, that moment where he hands off the ball to him. And now it's your time. So good. <laughs> so great. <laughs> Liddy, he, he, because, I don't know, I'm just kind of dazzled by this movie. I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm taking it back by how good it is. And of course, you know, obviously Mike's, Mike's obvious arc of learning to appreciate today. And, and, and the, you know, themes of gratitude are, are something that can really tug at my heart. But she like the the unexpected romance of certain moments, like in, in the courtroom when he's all I'm doing is recapping scenes. I'm not even really reviewing this. <laughs> I'm just just recapping stuff. When he's reviewing, uh, when he's when he's uh, in the courtroom and he's acting like he's reading off this letter, but he's just recanting a memory. And and then you find out it's just like this uh, directions or something. That was. That's what I mean by how cleverly written this is. I thought it was going to be, you know, like, oh, she recognizes that that looks like her husband's writing. I thought it was going to be something something simple like that. And they did so much more with it to allow for a good visual storytelling. And I think this movie is so much more clever than I was anticipating. What is it on Rotten Tomatoes? Just got to find out. The end all be all. Rotten Tomatoes. That's the one. This is the god of the opinion you should have. 56% crock of shit. This film is hilarious and much more clever than you'd expect. I don't care that it's a formula lake. The execution of the formula makes it an unexpected surprise. I heavily disagree. As a matter of fact, the top audience comment right now says this. Predictable but inventive. That is... Cannot a Will Dally M super reviewer. I could not like I I could not agree more. That is the best way to describe it. Predictable but inventive. And it, it, it hits all the predictable notes. You had want it to hit by the end of the journey, but the way they get there, I think, makes for a really touching, endearing experience. Uh, and it was it, like I, I thought it might be cheesy and dumb and it got better as it went and i'm not sh exactly sure when the stride really hit because it was always like entertaining and amusing to watch there was a certain point where it was just like consistently really engaging and really funny and once it found out that, that really strong flow because i feel like nowadays if you did a movie like this it would just be set up for a comedy scene let's look at our uh you could you could just imagine like four writers in a, in a room and they they all have their index cards and be like oh for this this sketch we could do this scene you know something like Ryan Reynolds and Jason Bateman in the changeup something that just feels very bit heavy but they let every, I think that's the the key to this film is that they let every comedy every comedy scene every really funny scene you know was still somehow imbued in the characters and 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 sort of advancing the the story and the plot of the characters that they did such a good job at that as opposed to just set up sketch and then insert characters there and another thing i thought they did well was they they took the right time to let certain scenes be serious instead of having a serious scene undercutting it with a joke they allowed like not a lot but there were certain scenes that they really let the drama kind of hit you in the feels and that makes it when it does go all comedy work even stronger because yeah this film i thought had uh, a great heart and a lot of wonder and i loved it personally i would say this is one of the my most favorite things i've ever been ever done a reaction to this shit was awesome <laughs> i love the hell out of it what do you guys think about this film leave your thoughts down below because damn that was uh 
I feel you know what it is. You, you know what? Okay, this movie came out in two thousand nine. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna give a guess here because maybe I'm just be like. Okay, High School Musical three was the year before this came out. And I remember there was a time where hating on Zac Efron was like the thing you just did because he was part of High School Musical. And unless you're one of those people who like grew up with High School Musical at, at the age I was at, everyone at my age and older and maybe a little bit younger than me was all about like kind of hating on High School Musical. Like I said, I went to see the freaking Dark Knight and everyone booed in the theater. And I feel like that kind of played in to why this film probably has a bit of a, a lower rating because this movie's better than a lot of comedies that come out. I, I personally think so. I think it's a really well, I think it's a clever, it's, it's cleverly done. And uh, I feel like I'm feel like a passionate defender of this film now. Uh, it is, it is so much better than a lot of comedies that do come out. And I think that because of the fact that Zac Efron, uh, you know, was just in high school musical three the year before, that it was the natural thing to kind of like shine a negative spotlight, uh, or like watch it through that kind of lens instead of allowing yourself to be sort of charmed by the film. That's what I'm going to blame it on. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to let anyone have their own subjective opinion. I'm going to say you're always being a bunch of assholes because it was an high school musical three <laughs> dumb critics. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're, uh, we're done now. Thank you. Thank you for being here. This was, this was, uh, this is one of the best things. I need I I I I loved it. I really loved it. Thank you guys for being here.